Hey guys, welcome back to the Desert Wine Guy. I know it's been a while, but uh, you know, with work and everything, and my time's been very occupied. So, today, have I got a wine for you guys to check out, okay? It's the 2013 Spelatec Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley. Guys, seriously, take a look at the label. That, I mean, Okay, I can't say enough good things, guys, about this label. To me, in my opinion, if I was if I was to rate a label, a wine label, of all the wines I've ever drank, okay, this would be 100 points. Okay, that's how amazing I feel this label represents this wine, and just in general is. Um, so I ended up getting this wine. It was $25, and uh, let me look at my notes here, and I'll tell you, uh, normally it's sixty dollars, okay, and that's not at the winery, okay. Uh, so I spent twenty-five dollars for the wine at a at a site called Wines Till Sold Out. Now, I'm not pushing them, okay. I don't represent them. I'm, I'm not getting anything from them. I, I I spent full price, you know, that they were selling it for for the wine. So the only reason why I'm telling these guys this is because. Um, if you want amazing prices on wines, at least check them out. Check out their prices and then use whatever search engine you want and see where their prices lie. And I'm sure you'll be like, uh, yeah, okay, fine, we're doing this. So anyway, here we go. So the wine is 85% Cabernet Sauvignon, 15% Merlot, okay? Uh, Going to their website, it's unspecified how long the wine spent in the following oak, but this is the oak that it did spend time in. We got American oak, Hungarian oak, and French oak as well. Um, like I said, unfortunately, it doesn't say how long the wine spent in each one, but it, didn't, it did spend some time in each of the three. Okay. Um, doing some research on the wine, prior to buying it, because not everything, you know, wine still sold out sells is going to be a wine that interests me. And I'm sure it's not going to be a wine that interests you, perhaps. And that's cool. So doing some research on the wine, I found that it's a very small wine winery. They do 3,000 cases a year. It's a husband and wife team. They've been around for a long time. And uh, they're all about family. And if you go to their website, I think you'll see that they're earnestly about family, which I think is amazing. It's really cool. So, um, maybe it was the label. I don't know. But something prompted me to buy three bottles of the wine. Okay. I, I don't know. So, now I have two bottles that are going to go to the cellar. And I know I just gave it away, huh? That's right. I did, huh? Because the wine is that good. I want you guys to know about this wine. So, on the nose here, let's start with, let's go with, with the nose, okay? So I got a lot of spiced oak. That's the first thing that comes forward. That's to me is a dominating uh, note here on the nose, okay? But what's so amazing about the spiced oak is how brilliantly everything else just just like meshes in so very well. Like everything was like meant to be on this wine, okay? Um, there is a a, a, a a sense of a rich, deep blueberry that normally would kind of get me a little scared on a wine because to me, a, a, a blueberry forward wine, to me is not something I care for at all, okay? I like to have other notes present uh, aside from blueberry and blueberry being up there towards dominance on the nose is a scary thing for me. I don't know how it is with you guys, but for me it is. Um, there's a there's a, a deep cherry, uh, like, like a quality cherry note that I'm getting here on the nose as well. A blackberry and a vanilla. Now, the blackberry is, is right up there with everything else, but the vanilla is kind of more subtle in the background on the nose. Um, and just the way everything is laid out is giving me hopes, or was giving me hopes, that this wine was really going to kick butt. Okay, um, so now the palate, okay? Everything I got on the nose, I got on the palate, okay? And in the same order, which was really um, kind of unique, I think. That spiced oak 
is um, it, it's just amazing the way it, it meshes with with a plushness that the wine has that that want, this plushness is um is again really weird for me because it also involves a little bit of sweetness to the well perceived sweetness at least to the wine now normally the blueberry and the perceived sweetness would just completely knock a wine out out of the category for me it's like never mind don't drink it don't spend your money on it okay but for some reason here the wine is just kicking butt, man. The wine is just, these two notes are really just amazing. You know, I've been sitting back here for about an hour, hour and a half, sipping on this wine. And at first, when I tasted it, I'm like, uh, yeah, it's a good wine, but it's, it's not a wine for me. And the more I'm sipping on it, the wine is kind of growing on me. And I'm realizing that this is a super quality wine here, guys. Um, all the ratings you're going to find on, on the, the internet and stuff, this time, are true. Okay? Um, so we got a bright cherry. And there's a, um, there's a spice attack here that comes on. But it's not a, it's not a peppery spice, okay? It's, it's, um, it's kind of like a sweet oak spice. And it just kind of really attacks the palate and takes control of it. That's the note that takes control of your palate here. However, like I said earlier, everything else is really just uh, like it was meant to be, okay? It really was meant to be. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but alcohol here is 15, I think, 0.6%, which is rather high. Um, but this is another amazing thing to the wine. Normally, a high alcohol content, such as 15.6%, you might taste it and it kind of burns off and it's gone. In this wine, it doesn't burn off at all, but it's a plus to the wine, okay? There's, no, there's not a burn. Uh, there's never been a burn to the wine, even from the opening of the wine. But that alcohol percentage is, uh, it, 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 it just adds a robustness to the wine without any negatives. That's the best way I can say it. Um, like I said, that spice attack is amazing. Um, it's just a very, very, very well put together wine. And for especially $25, guys, you're not going to find anything that's going to match this wine for less than $80. How about that? Okay. If you go back to wine still sold out and perhaps maybe email somebody there, I don't know and say, hey, look, you guys had this for 25 bucks. Would you happen to have any more available? Um, I'm gonna tell you guys, buy three bottles of the wine, okay? Um, it's been a while since I rated a wine at what I'm gonna rate this wine, okay? So I'm just gonna straight up tell you on a Desert Wine Guy rating scale, the wine is getting 95 points from me. <clears throat> uh, this is a wine, label-wise, and taste-wise, that you bring to a very, very special corporate dinner. This is the wine, label-wise and taste-wise, that you bring when you're having a dinner where somebody knows about wine. And you want them to believe you spent a lot of money on a wine because you're having dinner with them. But in reality, it's $25. How about that, okay? Um, so yeah, 95 points, guys. The wine is amazing. The label is amazing. The nose is amazing. Um, I see really no negatives here, guys. Buy the wine. If wine's still sold out, still has it available, buy the wine. And uh, even though the wine is a 2013, the wine has a lot of life left on it. Um, acidity wise here, the acidity is right up there with the rest of the palate. It doesn't excel. It's not something that's slacking. It's right there with, with, with the rest of what the wine wants to do. Okay. So that's about it guys. You have my review. Um, please, if you know anybody out there who loves wine, please let them know about my channel. Ask them to subscribe. Uh, you guys, subscribe. If this is your first time coming across a Desert Wine Guy, please subscribe. 
Um, I don't get paid from nobody. Nobody sponsors me. I know nobody that works in the wine industry, the distribution industry, the trucking industry, none of that stuff, okay? My field of work is completely out of the commercial uh, purview, okay? So please, subscribe to the channel, guys, and thanks for checking out the Desert Wine Guy, and I'll speak to you guys later.